Bunch to the right. Miles Hastings. And the screen, it's tipped, and it's intercepted by Oregon State. Junior of the Beavers. I tell you one thing, if they did not get that tip, that screen was set up for big yardage right there. Great job getting their hands up and now finding the football and making a play. It's Damian Martinez, the running back. DJ Ui Ungalale at quarterback. And the Clemson transfer. Hits it off. There goes Damian Martinez. Down the sideline. Martinez. Touchdown. Give it to Damian Martinez. You get body on the body, you let things happen for you. Boom, good cutback right there. And the rest is all Martinez. Great job there. Way to respond by Oregon State. And the roll the opposite way, cuts it back. In trouble. Goes down, sacked. Back near the 40 yard line. The pocket collapsed. Joe Golden, Isaac Hodgins. Motioning is CJ Hutton. And he takes. The inside handoff on the fly sweep, and Oregon State was ready for it. And a loss. Isaac Hodgins blasting through for the Beavers. Back into UC Davis territory. Good job right there by big number 99 with his swim move, forcing everything inside. The Aggies have done a great job. Back to the 35 of UC Davis. And they'll hand it off to Larison. Tries it to cut it back in, and he is smothered by the Beavers. Career 100-yard games, and coming in the last eight as Martinez cuts it back through the line. Martinez breaks up another. Damian Martinez tripped up, brought down just inside the five. Lamont Schamberger tripped him up first and goal, Beavers. I think they found something. They like the matchup on that right side of the line of scrimmage. Again, just vision right there by Martinez. Louis Ungalay and shotgun. And he'll run it. And DJU lowers the shoulder he's in. <laughs> touchdown, Oregon State, as Uwe Ungle ran for two touchdowns against San Jose State last week. Left side, he goes, no, I don't like this matchup. Let's put you on the right side. You become my lead blocker. Communicate to the offensive line. That's how you get downhill. You got a big quarterback. Play action, deep drop for DJ. And he throws it wide open as Bolden. And Bolden. Runs out of bounds inside the 30. Beautiful right here. Look, you're going to sell going across the field. No, put my foot in the ground. Let's go this way. That corner's at a bind. The hips are flipped. Easy catch and throw. Second down three at the Aggies five as we start the second. DJ Ui Ungalale to the back of the end zone, and it's caught. And spinning down with a touchdown catch is... Ray Hobbin Yagi. It's lost and wide open. We're good. Play action. Why not show the run down here? We know what the run game's been like. And now it's just chemistry. CJ Hutton motions to the other side. Looking under pressure and sacked again. Oregon State defense, Sione Lolohea. Things has been so far, unfortunately, for the Aggies. So disciplined. You show the run to the right. You leak out that tight end to the left, trying to get the defense to flow. They just weren't fooled at all. And that was the other thing coming out of last week. San Jose State had Shevin Cordero, a running quarterback. Ridley, and a good punt. Bolden coming up, makes the catch, and reverses field. Bolden trying to get to the outside. Turns the corner. Bolden down the sideline. Bolden stays in bounds. Cuts it back. Silas Bolden. Touchdown, Oregon State. Great return. Beautiful return. Great job by the return team. Silas Bolden, who's only in there returning kicks tonight and punts because Anthony Gould is not available. Oh, we're going to have a, a little battle at practice, see who's going to return these kicks. But great vision right there, good speed, and good discipline again. And including a 64-yard touchdown. And the rollout, DJ Ui Ungalale. And throws it out to midfield. The catch is made. Trent Walker. Finally brought down by Marquise Alexander. But Walker in the UC Davis territory. Going the other direction. Look, you fake like you're rolling that way. Get the defense to flow. Go back the other way. Same play, different personnel. That's how you can tell an offensive coordinator is in his bag. Love to see it. 
Second and ten. To the edge. Silas Bolden cuts it back. Bolden dives. He's in. Touchdown, Oregon State. Way to dial it up right there. You put two receivers out to the field. You see that you got numbers. You got two on two right there. It'll complicate the game. Look, get it out there quick. Get a body on a body. Now I got to make one guy miss. Can I do that? Yes, I did it on a 65-yard return already. Now get in there. Get your money, seven. Hastings under pressure. Goes down again, and he's sacked back inside the 30. Oregon State says they have the football. Arms are pointing the Beavers' way. Hastings, Hastings lost it. Oregon State has it. It'll be one stepping up in the pocket, trying to find something. There's nothing there. There's no time. You're getting pressure with four. That's ideal for a defensive coordinator and deflating for this Aggie offensive line. Joe Golden comes up with it. Takari Hickel, the redshirt freshman, was the one that forced the fumble. Five for seven last year. This would tie his career long. It's got plenty of leg, and it is good. He made a 40-yarder against Stanford last year in his first field goal of 2023. Another give to Larison. Another tackle for loss for Oregon State. Samisi Saluni with the tackle for loss. That makes 10 here in the first half. From the 15 with 30 seconds left in the half, and they'll run it with Lan Larison, who slips, trying to cut it back. Tackle for loss number 11 for the Oregon State defense, as James Rawls will get credit for that one. They're, they feel pretty good that he'll be ready to go next week when they host San Diego State. Another short kickoff. And from the 30. And a cutback to the edge. Ray Hamanyagi down the sideline. By taking the penalty, it works, and Oregon State starts this drive in UC Davis territory. That's got to be so frustrating as a special teams coordinator. Right, doesn't have a lot of experience out there. I'm blitzing them. I'm showing stunts. I'm making them work. So the freshman from Downey, California, keeps, runs around the edge. Childs turns it upfield. And a run of 15 for the freshman quarterback. Nice option right there. You ride the running back. For the Aggies. And again, the Wildcat look with Trent Tompkins and Oregon State not fooled. Another tackle for loss as the handoff Perez is wrapped up behind the line. A successful personnel group for these guys right there. D-line able just to penetrate. As soon as you get into that backfield, you kind of cloud. In the pistol look with Deshaun Fenwick at running back. And a fullback is Newell in front of him. And a nice stutter step move cutting to the outside Fenwick. Fenwick's running the bounds, it'll be first and goal. Right, you push it to the right, follow your lead, bam, you got to cut back there. Now the little hesitation, get to the outside. This is why receivers all across the country. Because of the style of play. Childs to the outside, open, into the end zone. Touchdown, Riley Sharp. The converted defensive lineman now a tight end and the senior from Salt Lake City. From Charles right there going through his read. He goes, look, if they cover the top, I'm going underneath. You get a nice little rub action there. Bunch formation. Aiden Childs, who's been at the helm the entire second half. And a nice pass. Tight window to Riley Sharp for a first down in Aggie territory. Came out. You get to watch your number two quarterback make throws like this. Over the top, you got pressure over the top. When you run that corner, you. On third down, Childs will run. Childs has a lane and more inside the 15, and he's upended first down. Beavers down to the 14. Quarterback, he can extend plays by time, still keeps his eyes down the field. But once he sees that green grass, man, he is gone. If he makes this guy miss right here, we might be striking up the band for a touchdown. 19 on the scamper for Childs. And Childs leans forward. He's in. Touchdown, Oregon State. Aiden Childs. We saw him throw his first touchdown. And now he's run for his first score for the Beavers. It's almost like you don't have to change the playbook, right? Good job by Childs moving the football down the field, capping it off with a run of his own. 14 plays, 89 yards.